Now we are going to solve a linear programming word problem using Desmos. So to start the word problem, you always want to define your variables. Desmos only uses X and Y. So we're going to let X be the number of acres of crop X and Y be the number of acres of crop Y. So next I want to find any constraints, things that I have to be less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. And the first two I'm going to start with is the number of crops for X can never be negative, so it's always greater than or equal to zero. And the same for y. y, the number of crops for y, also has to be greater than or equal to zero. Those are always a given pretty much in any word problem. We next look and see that the farmer is going to divide her 40 acre farm between the two crops. So she only has 40 acres, so when we add the number of crops for x and the number of crops for y, we know that has to be less than or equal to 40 acres. She can never go bigger than 40 acres. Next we look at this part that deals with cost. Seed for crop x costs $40 per acre, so 40 times x is the cost for that. And then seed for cost y is $20 per acre. So we add the cost for y, and that's 20y, and we see that she can spend at most $1,200. She has no more money than that. So it has to be less than or equal to $1,200. And now we have a feasible region of where we can maximize some kind of probably profit. So let's go look at the next part of the word problem. We want to find our objective function, what we're trying to maximize. So if crop Y brings in a profit of $70 per acre and crop X brings in a profit of $60 per acre, how many acres of each crop should the farmer plant to maximize profit? So we want to find this uh, an equation for profit. That's our objective function. So again, it's easiest to call it f, parenthesis of x comma y, and then let's figure out what the profit equals. Well, it's $70 per acre for y, so it's 70y, plus $60 per acre for x, so 60x. Now all we need to do is plug in the corner points into our objective function and figure out which one gives us a maximum. So the first corner point here is 0, 0. So let's find f of 0, comma 0. And we make $0 if we do nothing, if we don't plant any crops. Let's go up to this corner point. And when we click on it, it's 0, comma 40. So let's do f of 0, comma 40. And if that's what she plants, it's $2,800. Now let's go to the next corner point, which is right here, which is 20, comma 20. So we're going to do f of 20, comma 20. And we see she can make $2,600 if she does that. And then the last corner point is this one which is 30 comma 0. So we do f of 30 comma 0 and she can make $1,800 if she plants that way. So we look for the one that has the biggest answer which is 2,800. Now in this problem they're not actually asking us for the actual profit which is 2,800. They just want to know how much of crop X to plant and how much of crop Y. So when I look at the first coordinate, which is the x, we're not going to plant any of crop x. So we're going to go 0, but we're going to plant 40 acres of crop y, 40, and then we're going to submit our question. And we got it right. I hope you found this video helpful.